Hi, how to handle rude and insulting comments made by your bosses, maybe your colleagues, or maybe in social gatherings. Hi, my name is Ritesh Kumar, and today I am here to talk about how to handle rude and insulting comments made by your bosses, maybe your colleagues, or maybe in social gatherings. I believe there are three ways to look at it. Number one, ignore it and move on. When you ignore it and move on, basically, you are getting used to it. Not a good option, right? Now let's move on to option number two. React and talk back. Maybe sometimes use abusive languages and lose your dignity in front of everybody. Not a good option either. All right, now let's move on to option number three. Respond smartly and confidently. Right, sounds good. All right, remember what gets rewarded gets repeated. Communication per se has two types. Non-verbal and verbal. Non-verbal has 55% share and verbal communication has 45%. I'll give you three steps formula to handle these comments and such nasty people as well. Step number one, turn yourself completely to that person. Full turn, body to body and face to face, eye to eye head to head, not like this or not like this, complete body turn towards that person. All right. And follow three seconds rule. What is three seconds rule? In three seconds rule, you have to look at the person for three seconds without uttering any word, without shaking your body, Without moving your eyes, just look at the person for three seconds like this. All right. When you do that, it shakes off your listener's confidence and you are having an upper edge in the communication. Step number two, tilt your head forward like this and your eyes are up. When you do this or this in communication, it shows your passiveness. So don't do it. When you do like this, how do you think so? It shows aggression. It shows your attitude. It shows you're not able to handle it. So basically, you want to be assertive. So tilt your head forward. Eyes are up. This makes you assertive, sanguine and firm. So be that. And step number three, increase your volume by 10% to sound more authoritative and more confident. How to do that? It's very simple. Just take full breath and then speak. Automatically, you feel that your sound has increased. So increase the sound by 10%. You have this fair idea, what should be the volume when you talk to a person at a certain distance. By understanding that logic, that idea, increase the volume by 10% and you don't have to yell, you have to be assertive, right? You have to be firm and then you might want to say something, right? Mr. X, do we have that intimacy that you can make such comments on me? I believe our relationship is quite professional and I would appreciate if you kept the conversation professional. Sometimes when you say this, your listener, your colleague or maybe your boss, they may say, I was just kidding, I was just joking, you know, it was just a joke. At that time, be very firm and repeat, I believe our relationship is quite professional. And I would appreciate if you kept the conversation quite professional. I hope you understand it. Thank you very much. Now, when you say this, you have done your job. 
So these were three steps how to handle those rude comments and how to handle such people. And trust me, your boss, your colleagues or anybody else will start you respecting more and next time they will think twice before making any rude or insulting comments on you. Thank you.